The idea of absolute time is so natural that the relativistic description of time still come as something of a shock to the student of science. In the beginning of 17th century, the outer shell of physics was built by Kepler, Newton, Galileo and others such as Huygens, Hooke and Leibniz. While applying physics to new areas, they also deepened its foundations by advancing our knowledge of the fundamental laws. The greatest of these figures is Newton, who revealed the laws of dynamics and gravity and at the same time, he applied them to the natural world. Before Newton, the business of natural philosophy was to explain the reasons for things, rather than to describe natural phenomena quantitatively. He essentially reversed the priorities. Newton's account to the fundamental laws was so successful that no one until the end of 19th century made an attempt to investigate them. It was Ernst Mach, a German physicist who first successfully challenged Newtonian thought of relative motion, space and time. Mack pointed out that the Newton's idea of time without cloak is metaphysical. To understand the properties of time, we must observe the properties of clocks. He also argued that since position in space is determined with measuring rods, the properties of space can be understood only by investigating the properties of metaristics. The youthful Einstein was very much attracted by Mack's idea on the foundation of Newtonian physics. Einstein and his close friend Michel Besson regularly discussed science and philosophy, including the nature of time. After one such discussion, Einstein came to a sudden realization that time is not absolute. Despite our common perception that a second is always a second everywhere in the universe, the rate at which time flows depends upon where you are and how fast you are traveling. Einstein thanked Besson in his first paper on the special theory of relativity. 